Hello, I'm Glenn. Thanks for joining in on this tutorial. Today we're learning to draw cubes, to stack them, and to hollow them. You'll need a splat, pencil, and an eraser. On your starting point, bring the point of the splat down and draw three lines. Also at the sides, there's a little blip, so go from the blip downwards. Great, now we slide it upwards and draw two more lines at the top. Awesome. Now we rotate it around, line up the corner as you see there and draw in two more lines to finish. So that's the same three steps to draw a cube. We're starting our next one from that point. We have less lines to draw, some are hidden, so just two there then slide to the top, just one to draw there, rotate, line it up with the corner, two cubes, boom. Now we stack up, there's my next starting point. Just like before, draw your lines and don't forget about the middle one and then slide upwards. Notice how I'm keeping the splat vertical all the time. Let's erase a few lines there. Now that's tidied up, step two in drawing a cube was to draw those two lines, remember? And then I, you're right, spin it around, line up the corner, and draw the far two edges of the cube. Nice. Now let's get fancy and hollow one of the cubes out. Line up the corner just as shown and trace in that full oval or what we call an ellipse. Slide it on the pencil and then draw in just part of the ellipse. Stop at the line, top and bottom. Can you imagine looking inside? You'd see a corner right there. Let's do something different on this cube. Sketch some lines just by hand, lightly, on the same angle all the way around. Then come back and darken or firm in your opening. Looks like paper. To make it look like it's a thicker material, draw a short line and then copy that line there. Copy that angle, but start there. In the last cube, you can draw whatever shape you like. I'm just going to draw... A wiggly line all the way around make sure it meets up at the other end now to make it look hollow we're going to copy that line moved over a little bit how do I know where to start and stop well on the last one we started and stopped at those corners and we do pretty much the same thing your squiggly line should start and stop in about the same places to tidy this drawing up you could use a ruler and go right around the outside we call that a cutting line do you think you could stack more cubes than I have, or do you think you could put them in a different direction? Your teacher may want to demonstrate to you how you could use a pastel to make your drawing stand out from the paper. A pastel is like a really soft chalk. And use a piece of paper as a shield and work your way around. Try and rub off the paper, not onto it, so it doesn't crinkle up your paper. Let's smooth that out a bit. Fantastic. Thanks so much for joining in today. Good luck with your drawings. Don't forget to practice. Bye now.